everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial, and today we are painting the good half of the Battle for Osgiliath box set, sent to me early by Games Workshop, and so a massive thank you goes out to them for this. We have Warriors of Minas Tirith, we have Faramir, Madril, and Damrod, three new characters and we have some rangers of Athelion slash Gondor slash the realms of men <laughs> here we are we have them all and we're gonna be painting them all in this video just like we have done with the Rohan and Isengard battle hosts because it's a cool format and I thought I'd replicate it for all of you so we're gonna be painting all of these up we're gonna start with the men of Minas Tirith or the warriors of Minas Tirith then we're gonna do the rangers and then we'll do all three of the characters. They've all been primed in grace here. And well, we're just gonna jump in. So we're gonna grab our paints, grab our brushes and get started. So for the purposes of this video, painting the warriors of Minas Tirith, we're gonna be focusing on these three guys because we've got four bows, <laughs> four sword and shield, and four spear and shield guys. So we don't need to show all of them. But we're gonna be doing it on these three and ultimately all the details are the same, but we'll chop and change between them as and when we got some individual details to pick out. So what we're gonna be doing as mentioned, they're primed in grace here, and the color we're gonna be using first is Black Legion. And we're gonna be applying this over the top of all of our, well, black details. Now this is going to include areas such as the cloth. So they're kind of skirts, their shirts, their trousers. It's gonna include the boots, their gloves, and their belts. It's also going to include the quiver on our bowmen, but not the sword scabbards. We're gonna do those in a different color just to create a little bit of variation. On the models. We're also going to use this Black Legion over the top of the shield facings. And I think that's it. It's a lot of black. So with that done, as you can see, on both of our shields and on our bowmen. What we're going to do now is rather unconventionally, we're going to go straight for the metallics. Well, the first main metallic, and I'm sure you can guess what it is. It's going to be silver and it's going to be lead belcher. What we're going to do is we're going to thin some of that down on our palette. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of our silver details. Now, this is going to include all of the armor, of course, any of the bladed weapons the banding on the shield, and that's about it. However, it does make up the majority of the models. So with that silver all applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Saigor Brown and we're going to apply this to all of our remaining wood and leather. So for example, here on this archer, we've got the bow itself, a little bit more Saigor Brown than that. Just like this, we've got his sword scabbard. I 
as well. And on our spearman, we have the haft of his spear. So with that Cygore Brown applied, we're then gonna take some Fire Slayer Flesh and we're gonna apply this to their faces. So with that Fire Slayer Flesh applied, we're then going to take some wild wood and we're going to apply this to their hair. And with that wildwood applied to the hair, we're then going to take some apothecary white. I'm going to apply this over the top of the fletchings on the arrows. And with that apothecary white all applied, we then take some black templar. I'm going to apply this over the sword handles. So with that done, we've now got to do something quite fiddly, and that is to paint the white tree of Gondor on the shields of our swordsmen and our spearmen. So the color we're gonna be using for this is Corax White. And what we're going to do is we're gonna take a really tiny brush here and we're gonna very, very carefully pick it out with Corax White. Now believe it or not, this is quicker than trying to paint around it with black. So you just wanna take your time here And so with that done, we just have one last base coat to apply, and that is going to be some thinned down Retributor armor. And we're going to be applying this over the top of the cross guard on the sword and the pommel, as well as this little kind of decorative bit that they all have on their sword scabbards and on their quivers. Like so. Similarly over here. So with that Retributor arm replied, it means it's time for a shade. And there's only one, and it's gonna be all over. The only place we're not gonna be applying it is on the Saigal Brown, the Wildwood, and the Flesh. And the shade we are going to be applying is Null Oil. And as I mentioned, we are going all over with this. So we're just going to start applying this over the top of all of the silver, all of the black, all of the gold. We're going to apply this over the top of the white tree on the shield. I'm quite liberal with it here. Don't have to be too careful. I'm just going to go for it.
So with that done, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some Nuln Oil once again, and we're gonna apply this just to the silver armor. And this is because we want to have really nice dark recesses, and then we can really layer it up, and make it all nice and shiny. So we're gonna take that Nuln Oil, and then we're just gonna, as said, just apply this over the top of the silver armor. We don't need to do it over the weapons or anything like that. We're literally just looking for the armor plates. So with that done, our warriors of Minas Tirith are now at what I would call a war hipster battle ready. And they look pretty fantastic already. However, we're going to take them to the next level. I'm going to do this by adding one relayer and a couple of highlights here and there. Not too many, though. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with that relayer. And the color we're going to be using is Iron Hand Steel. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be relayering all of the silver, excluding their weapons, which we're just going to highlight. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that Iron Hand Steel on our brush. Very small amount here. And just on the kind of flat surfaces of the armor panels, we're just going to start applying this. Just like this, just to really brighten up the armor. Just like that sort of thing, as you can see. What you can also do is use this to pick out any of the details and edges on the slightly smaller bits. So for example, on that white tree on the chest, you can kind of do this by sort of taking a brush load, applying it over a large flat surface and then kind of just dry brushing it with what's left. So for example, here on the leg, we can just pick out each of these slats like this, whilst the paint is still wet on our brush. You see, get a nice shiny leg. And then we can just dab off a little bit of excess and go back to kind of almost just dry brushing the chest. Same for the sides of the helmet, the winged areas, like that sort of thing. You could, of course, if you wanted to, edge highlight all of these stuff. I just find it's a lot quicker to do it this way. So with all of that iron hand steel applied, as you can see, we've got these beautifully shiny warriors of Minas Tirith now perfect for defending the walls and ruins of Osgiliath. However, we've just got a couple of things left to do in order to finish them off. And one of them is to highlight all of the black details. Now the color that we're gonna be using to do this is Dawnstone. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a teeny tiny amount of this on our brush. And we're just gonna start picking out the black details. So with all that Dawnstone applied, we're then going to take some Flayed One Flesh. I'm going to use this to highlight the faces. And 
And so with that done, just to finish off our Warriors of Minas Tirith, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Black Lesion. I'm going to apply this in any of their open mouths. Like so. And we're also just going to take a teeny tiny amount of it and use it to just colour in their, their eyes. So as you can see, our Warriors of Minas Tirith are now all finished and they look fantastic. We're just waiting for their bases to dry. Here's some swordsmen. Here's one of the ones we actually worked on for this video. We have our spear as well here. Oh, well, not this one again. <laughs> oh man. I have hundreds of these somewhere in a box. And these are the best ones I've ever painted. <laughs> they look fantastic. I'm so very pleased with them. Right, with the Warriors of Minas Tirith all done, that does mean that we're going to move on now to the Rangers of Gondor. Right. Here we have them then, the Rangers. So we're going to be once again working on three of them at a time because we have some that are armed with their bow out, some that are armed with their sword out, and some that are armed with their spear out, specifically four of each, four, eight, and 12. So we're gonna be working on these three, and well, the color we're gonna be using first is Dark Angels Green. And the color we're gonna be placing this on, or the details we're gonna be placing this on, is their little front tabards, so for example here, and their cloaks. So what we're gonna do, we're going to work on this one with the bow just for the moment. We're going to load up our brush with that Dark Angel's green. And we're just going to start around here on the cloak. Just like this. And you want to make sure that you always get the kind of shoulder areas because that's an easy place to miss. With that Dark Angels green all applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Militarum green and we're going to apply this to the kind of skirt, <laughs> this kind of area just down here. So with that Militarum green all applied, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Black Legion and we're gonna apply this to the boots, their guns and their motorcycles. <laughs> we're gonna apply this to their shoes, <laughs> which is technically the boots. Uh, they have these wraps over the top of their kind of shins, which is basically the trousers we're not going to be doing with the Black Legion. As you can see, we're just doing the shoe. We're going to apply this over the top of their quivers. that sort of thing. We'll obviously do the other side as well. We're also going to apply this over the top of is any visible belts or straps.
like that. I'm going to apply it over the top of their face wraps. We've got their undershirts. You can generally only just see around the elbow. Like that. Again, same on that other side. And at the last place we're going to apply this is over the top of any spear hafts. So with all that Black Legion applied, what we're now going to do is going to take some Cygore Brown and we're going to apply this to pretty much all of the remaining details. We're going to be applying this to all of their kind of leather armour, shirts, and jackets and things. We're going to be applying this to their kind of trousers, to the little kind of wrist guards and things, as well as to the bows themselves. So we're going to grab that Cygore Brown. I'm going to work on this one just here. And we're going to load up our brush. I'm just going to start applying this. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some wildwood and we're going to apply this to a couple of different areas, but they're quite small. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this to any of the handles on any of their swords. Like so. We're gonna apply this to any visible hair. Like that, and we're going to apply this to the visible wood on the arrows. You can see the little knocks on the shafts. So, with that done, we're now going to take some Fire Slayer flesh. We're going to apply this to their faces and their hands. With that Fire Slayer flesh applied, we then take some Yandan Yellow and we're going to apply this to the fletchings on the arrows. With those fletchings painted, we're then going to take some lead belcher and we're going to apply this to the weapons. So the blades of the spears and the swords. With that lead belcher applied, we're then going to apply our final base coat, which is going to be some Retributor armor over the top of our sword pommel and cross guard.
So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Nuln Oil. I'm gonna use this to shade all of our metallics. What little there are. <laughs> And so with that done, we've just got one last kind of a shade to do, and that's going to be to take some Black Templar. I'm going to apply this over the top of the green tabard. Just the green tabard. You don't need very much here. Just tiny amounts. Because you just want to make this bit nice and dark. Like that. And with that Black Templar applied, our Rangers of Gondor are now at what I would call a War Hipster battle ready. And they already look pretty cool. However, we're not going to leave them there. Nope, we're going to take them to the next level. And we're going to only add a couple of highlights. Now, the first one we're going to add is Auric Flesh. And we're going to be applying this to our dark green cloaks. And we just want to add this the edges in the most sharpest details on the green cloaks so with that auric flesh applied to all of the cloaks as you can see what we're going to do now is we're going to take some thinned down Dawnstone. I'm going to use this to highlight our black details. Now we're mostly focusing here on the quivers on the back, as well as the face masks. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some flayed one flesh and we're going to use this to highlight the skin. And so with that done, we're then going to take a teeny tiny dot of Black Templar, oh, no, Black Legion. I'm going to apply this over the top of the pupils. Over the eyes. Goodness me. Let's take his little wash. And so with that done, just to finish off our rangers, what we're going to do is we're going to take some iron breaker. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the silver. So with our Rangers of Gondor all complete, it is now time to work on the three characters. Now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on Damrod and Madril first, as they're pretty simple. It's mostly dark browns and blacks for these two. And then we're going to do Faramir last because you know, it's what he deserves. <laughs> so what we're going to do first on both of these guys is we're going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Black Templar and Wildwood. And we're going to paint this all over the top of their cloaks. So we're going to load up our brush here and we're just going to start painting this in.
So with that done, Damrod and Madrill are looking somewhat like this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Cyborg Brown. We're going to do this in two takes because we've got a slightly different application for both of them, but it is the same colour. So starting with Damrod, our Cyborg Brown is going to be applied over the top of a number of different details. So we're going to be applying this over the top of his coat. like this. We're going to be applying this over the top of his armour here. And on the arms as well. like so. We're going to avoid this kind of triangular piece here on the chest. I'm going to paint both sides of that. We're going to paint in the quiver. And on his boots, we've got this little bit of trim that comes down the middle and around the edge. as well. Just want to get all of these areas done and then once that's done we'll come back. So with that done it's now time to do the same thing on Mandrill. Now what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be taking the Cygore Brown and it's kind of almost like a reverse so on this triangle here, we're going to be applying the Cygore brow. Like this. We're going to be applying this to all of the trim sections around the model. So we've got a tiny little bit of trim going down here, the middle. Like that. We have the arm guards. Like so, we have the trim of this tabard. like that 
And we also have the trim of the jacket and the skirt. We also have the trim of the boots as well, just like on Damrod. In addition, we have his quiver to do as well. So with that Saigor Brown applied on both, rather helpfully, the next color we're gonna be applying is Black Legion. And it's gonna be over pretty much all of the remaining details, except for the fletchings, their faces, and their hair. It's very nice. <laughs> it's very cool. So we're gonna be applying this over the top of bows, arrows. We're gonna be applying this over boots, any kind of remaining leather belts and straps. Just like this. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Fire Slayer Flash and we're gonna apply this over both of their faces. So with that now done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Wildwood and we're gonna apply this over Damrod's hair, beard and moustache, but we're also gonna apply this over both of their cloaks to bring it right down. So we've got that nice cold brown on there as our base coat, and then we add the Wildwood again to bring that color right, right down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that Wildwood on our brush, and we're actually just gonna start on Madrill here. As you'll see, once this goes over, comes out nice and dark. So with that now done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Yandan Yellow and we're gonna apply this to the fletchings on the arrows. So with that yand and yellow applied, we're then going to very quickly take some apothecary white and we're going to apply this over Madril's hair. So with that apothecary white applied, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down lead belcher and we're gonna start applying this to most of our metallics. The only things we're not gonna really be applying this to are a couple of large triangle clasps that they have. So we've got one here on Damrod's belt, same here on Madril. We've got one just there on this, both of these kind of chest pieces. Otherwise, we're gonna be applying the lead belcher over all of our remaining belt buckles, and sword blades and arrowheads and various things like that. And so with that now done, we're then gonna take some thinned down retributor armor. We're gonna apply this to all of our remaining details, including those triangle buckles that we talked about in the silver section. So with that done, we're now gonna add a shade to Damrod and Madril. That color is going to be Null Oil. And we're gonna be applying this over the top of the metallics and the black.
So with that null oil applied to Damrod and Madrill, we actually applied it over the top of Madrill's hair as well, I forgot to mention that. Uh, but with that done, these two are now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. So we're going to pop them to one side and we're going to work on Faramir. We get him up to war hipster battle ready and then we're going to highlight all three of them together. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a roughly three parts Creed camo to one part Dark Angels green mix. And we are going to be applying this over the top of Faramir's cloak and his kind of skirts and shirt and things. See a lot of green. So, we're going to start here on the shoulder. And we're just going to start working our way around. So with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some wild wood and we're going to apply this to his chest plate. Well, it's not a plate, it's, it's <laughs> his leather chest. But what we're going to do is we're going to avoid the trim. And don't worry about getting this over the white tree. That shall be dealt with. Like this. What we're also going to do is we're going to apply this over the top of his armor on his shoulders. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this to the trousers. We're going to apply this to his gloves, to the braces on his arm. He has two arms. And we're going to be applying this to his bow. And we're applying this to the sword scabbard as well. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Saigor Brown and we're going to apply this to Faramir's boots. And with that Saigor Brown applied, we're then going to take some Agrax Earthshade and we're going to use this to shade his wildwood areas as well as to colour in those trim areas that we haven't done and the undershirt that we also haven't done. So with that Agrax Earthshade applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Nasdrag Yellow and we're going to apply this over Faramir's hair. And his beard.
So with that done, we're then going to take some Fire Slayer Flesh and we're going to apply this over Faramir's face. And don't worry if that hair is looking a little bit too vibrant. We're going to darken it down in just a moment. So with that done, I've just added a little bit of Nasdrag yellow to those fletchings on the arrows because, well, might as well use the paint more than once. And well, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Agrax Earthshade now and we're going to use this to darken down his hair. That way he doesn't have the same colour hair as his arrows and we get that sort of sandy blonde look that we're after here. Gonna apply this over his beard. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thin down lead belcher and we're gonna apply this over the top of his sword. And we're also gonna apply this over the top of the belt buckles on his chest. There's a couple of little tiny ones. And with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thin down retributor armor and we're going to apply this over the top of the pommel, the sword, as well as the cross guard. Just like this. We've also got the bottom of the scabbard down here. And we've got a similar little looking little bit on the end of his belt. So with all of that done, all of our base coats are now on on Faramir. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some shades. Now the first one we're gonna add is Pox Walker. And we're just going to be applying this to the cloak. We don't need to do this over the top of his kind of clothes because we want a kind of slightly different tone of green for both of these, just to add a nice little bit of variation. So we're just going to whack this pox walker all over like this. And then once that is done, we shall return. And with that done, we're then gonna take some null oil. I'm gonna apply this all of our silver, gold, and our black details. So with that done, Faramir is nearly at a war hipster battle ready. However, he's not quite, because what we need to do is need to take some Corax white and very carefully use this to pick out the white tree of Gondor on his chest.
So, we now have Madril, Damrod and Faramir all at what I would call a war hipster battle ready. They're looking pretty fantastic already, if I do say so myself. And I absolutely adore these models. I think they're fantastic. However, we're not going to leave them there. No, we're going to take them to the next level. We're going to do this by adding some highlights. Now, there actually aren't many highlights to do as the contrast is doing a lot of work here and it already looks fantastic. But what we are going to do is we're going to take some Gorthor Brown and we're going to use this to highlight all of the brown leather across all of them. So this is including the Wildwood on his chest, uh, the Saigor Brown on Madril and Damrod including their cloaks as well. So, we shall demonstrate this on Madril. So using this Gorthor Brown, I'm just gonna pick a place to start. I'm just gonna start just here. On the chest. And the reason we're doing this one single highlight across all of our brown leather is because it's going to give us a very different finish on all of them. So on the side or brown, it's going to look unique. On the cloak here, it's going to look very different. And on the wildwood, it's also going to look very different. So with that Gorthor Brown applied to all of those brown parts, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Dawnstone and we're gonna use this to highlight all of our black details. So with that Dawnstone all applied, as you can see, Madril and Damrod are pretty much nearly finished. The only things left to do really are the metallics, as well as the green and the faces on Faramir and the rest of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on those metallics and the color we're gonna be using is Iron Breaker. We're just gonna use this to run a little highlight along all the silver. And with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Liberator Gold and we use this to highlight all of our gold. So with that gold highlight applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Auric Flesh and we're going to use this to highlight Faramir's clothes. Now we're not gonna use this to highlight his cloak because his cloak already looks amazing and we don't wanna add any kind of bright highlights into it because we want it to be quite almost drab, but vibrant as you can see there. Look at that, it looks fantastic. However, on the clothes, we do just wanna add a little bit of a light point. So we're just gonna use that auric flesh one more time. And so with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down flayed one flesh and we're gonna use this to highlight the faces across all three of our characters. And so just to finish off those faces and the models before we do the basing, we're just gonna take a teeny tiny dot 
of Black Legion. I'm going to apply this over their eyeballs. This is really fiddly work because you don't have to do this if you don't want to. The Fire Slayer Flesh does a really good job of shading the eyes. We just add a little teeny little bit of Black Legion in there like that. takes those faces one step further like so so with that done all three of our characters are now finished and they look amazing so what we're going to do now is we're just going to work on those bases very quickly and the recipe is very simple it's exactly the same as we have done on our Gilead ruins so what we're going to do is we're going to take some null oil and we're going to apply this all over the top of all the stonework. So with that null oil all applied, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some seraphim sepia and we're gonna apply this also over the top of all the stonework. But we're not gonna be as like kind of diligent here. We just wanna make sure we don't get any kind of large brown pools here. We're just kind of wanting to stain the stone. Just take small amounts from the pot. And with that done, we're then gonna take some Athonian camo shade. I'm gonna apply this to any of the kind of fallen rubble. So with those shades applied, we're now gonna dry brush all the stonework. I'm gonna dry brush it with gray sear. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna very carefully now around the model, do a nice kind of almost circular motion over the top of all of the stone, just to brighten it right up. So with that done, all that's left to do is to fill in that negative space any way that you wish. Now I'm gonna be using Astro Granite, a little bit of shading and a dry brush of Tyrant Skull. But of course you can do this any way that you wish. And so with their bases complete, the forces of Gondor are now finished. All 12 Rangers, 12 Warriors and Damrod, Madril and Faramir completed. So what do you think? because I really love them. <laughs> I'm not sure I love them as much as the Rohan battle host. No, who am I kidding? I do love them. I think they're fantastic. Oh man, I just love Lord of the Rings. It's the best thing in the world. And painting this was super simple, super fun, and super quick. So, you know, I hope you enjoy this one and I hope you find it useful.
If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these amazing, wonderful people have done. And if you really like this video or you just want to shoot me some support, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.